What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 9.1 has just been released. This is actually a little earlier than we predicted. Uh, some of us thought that it would come out in November with the iPad Pro, but I guess Apple wanted to get all devices ready. And of course, there's a lot of new exciting features in 9.1. So in this video, like usual, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's changed, pretty much everything you need to know about this update. So that's whether or not you're jailbroken. I'm gonna be talking about the jailbreak support, pretty much all the new features, how's the performance, and in general, how is the firmware? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. iOS 9.1 is available over the air or from iTunes. So if you guys actually go into general software update, you should see iOS 9.1 in here. I've already updated and let me go ahead and show you storage before and after updating. And this is what we're looking at. So I had 86.1 available capacity 113. After updating, I have 86.4. So 0.3 gigabytes were added maybe cached files, it's cleared itself up, which is great. But what's new? So there are actually a number of new features and the official change log from Apple mentions a lot of them in here. So the main features on the main page when actually updating, there are two things. So for one, live photos. You know, I actually made a video about this earlier. When you would take a live photo, when you would uh, actually take it, and then if you were to droop your phone, it would reflect in the photo no longer. So the live photo stops recording just as soon as you tilt your phone. So no longer do you get that effect at the end, which is great. So uh, I'm happy that Apple has fixed that. Two, tons of new emojis. So if we actually go into notes right now, let me show you just a handful, but there are over 150 new ones, in particular that middle finger. So actually if someone isn't on the newest firmware, they will not be able to see this. They'll just see a really weird character and the color that you select. So this is here, but not everybody will see it unless they're on 9.1. So they need the new Unicode support. Anyways, there are a ton of new ones as well, both people, you know, animals, sports, and the entire sectioning of the emojis is slightly different. So it's gonna look a little bit different than iOS 8 or 8.4.1 or even 9.0.2. So that's like the biggest thing, you know, the emojis, exciting stuff, but there's actually a lot of smaller changes Apple included as well. So not only that, but there's stability in both CarPlay, Music Photo, Safari, and Search. There's actually improved performance in the multitasking user interface, so that's gonna be a little bit smoother, and I'm gonna test that out today on every single device, from the 4S to the 6S, to see if Apple really made true on that promise. It fixes an issue that could cause calendar to become unresponsive in the month view, uh, Game Center, uh, who uses Game Center anymore? <laughs> Resolves an issue that's zoomed in on the content of some apps. Let me see if that's fixed. So if I actually click the home, nope, that's not fixed. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it resolves an issue that could cause incorrect unread mail account in the pop mail accounts, fixes an issue that prevented users from moving recent contacts, fixes an issue that caused some messages not to appear in mail search results, and resolves an issue that left a gray bar in the body of an audio message. Man, I've had this one so many times. You can't see what you're typing because the little dictation bar is in the way. It fixes an issue that caused activation errors on some carriers. I actually experienced this on my T-Mobile phone and fixes an issue that prevented some apps from updating in the App Store. I also experienced that. So this is the first major update for iOS 9.1 and there's actually a lot that's been fixed and it's nice that we have some new emojis so and as well as a fix for the live photos it's a great start but how's the performance so I actually installed it on pretty much every single one of my devices and I'm gonna show you real quick on my 4s once this finishes updating now while that's updating I also wanted to mention that Apple did release an update for Apple watch and OS 10 so for Apple watch we got OS 2.0.1 and if we actually go into the software update we should see this in here in just a second apple did also update el capitan to 10.11.1 with some stability fixes in there as well as all the new emojis so this is what we get for the apple watch uh, it actually improves the battery life just a little bit location services uh, pretty much just a lot of bug fixes here but it's definitely going to make the experience a lot better you can go ahead and install that from here make sure you're connected to wi-fi and all that and uh, let's go ahead and get back to the OS 9.1 on my 4S. So it has a boot up. Let me go ahead and set it up real quick. All right, so on the left is 9.1, on the right is 9.0.2. Let's see how these compare. And uh, so, just so you guys can see, 9.0.2, 9.1, newest version. Let's try opening Spotlight. Phew. Okay, so no comparison, definitely a lot more responsive on 9.0.1, all right, once again, there you go. So that's definitely apparent. Let's try App Switcher, one, two, hmm, pretty fair. Uh, let's go ahead and load the App Store. 
So is it just me or I'm not seeing that responsiveness on the 4S? Maybe on the iPhone 6 where the problem was most apparent to me, I'll be able to see that, but seems uh, pretty even to me, except for Spotlight Search. That's definitely improved on 9.1. But So performance-wise, on the older device, 4S, I'm not really seeing it. And if I actually show you guys 7.1.2 right here, it's a little bit embarrassing to uh, even compare these. And let's try opening up Maps. Look at that responsiveness on 7.1.2. Uh, let's try settings. Man, it just instantly is there. That's what I love. Uh, App Store. Definitely much more responsive. So iOS 9.1 is still bad, but I guess it's a little bit better. I'm gonna be testing it on every single device to see if it's any better. So for those of you guys that are jailbroken, here's what's up. Right now, you cannot jailbreak 9.1. That was patched in iOS 9.1 beta 4, and we all knew that you couldn't jailbreak it, so just in case you guys are wondering, no, there's no jailbreak. 9.1 patches the 9.0.2, 9.0.1, and 9.0 jailbreaks. So is there gonna be a jailbreak for 9.1? Right now, that's not very clear. Usually, we have to wait until the .2 version, until a jailbreak is released at this stage. I'm just basing this on history, so it's very unlikely we'll get a jailbreak for 9.1 anytime soon, but in the case that we do, you know, stay on 9.0.2 and see what happens. That's the safe bet. Now, if you guys are on 9.0.1 or 9.0 and you want to get to 9.0.2, it's still possible. And I would recommend it. I mean, why wouldn't you be on the newest jailbreakable firmware? Just go ahead and download the IPSW firmware, shift click update in iTunes with your device plugged in and select the 9.0.2 firmware. You guys will get there if you're not there right now. But in the meantime, I will keep you guys updated on any 9.1 jailbreak information. So guys, that's just about it. iOS 9.1 is a great firmware. Some great new features and a ton, a ton of fixes that make your experience a lot better. Is the performance better? I don't know at the moment, but if you guys have updated to 9.1 and want to downgrade, I'll have a tutorial on that very soon as well. So stay tuned for all of that, especially the speed test coming up very soon. Thanks so much for watching guys. Enjoy 9.0.2, stay there. It's the safe bet, safe thing to do right now. You don't want to upgrade and then lose the jailbreak if that's something you guys wanted. Have a great day. Peace.